Hello everyone, welcome to I Am Ruko, and again, my name is John Cornelio, and today we have the great ID. How you doing? I'm ID, I-D-E-E, MC, <laughs> poet, host, you know what I'm saying, out here just rocking with my guy, you know what I mean? Why don't you tell us more about your journey to music so far, ID? Oh, man, my journey, it's such an interesting journey, because it's, it's really just a journey of your life, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, and in every step of your life looks different, you know what I'm saying? So like, you know, adapting my music. You know what's really interesting is like performing old music and pushing views and thoughts that I don't even think no more. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't even think like that no more. Like, I kind of only I want to do new music and do new things. So I guess that's that's the that's that's my journey. My journey is just the journey that we have in life. You know, sometimes I feel like I know exactly where I'm going. Sometimes I feel lost, and it's like your music is all you know. That that is the journey, ain't it? You know what I'm saying? What I'm saying is like, there's some views that I've had, you know, because I've been in the game, you know, ten plus years making music. So there's things that I thought five years ago that I might not think the same way about today. You know what I'm saying? I see. And, and those just, um reflected in your songs, and now you have to kind of forcibly be sing some of them, and. Yeah, and different. not and not necessarily and not necessarily feel that way no more. And that's that's kind of like the journey is like what it looks like for you now. Like, like I'm sure when you first came out, you know what I mean, and everything. You, I'm sure you have a total different approach to how you're going to do it now than you used to, right? Yeah, absolutely, of course. <laughs> so it's like, so it's like every every new chapter of your life, it seems like you want to have your music or whatever your experience is, you want that to change with it. You know what I mean? Whether that be your like exterior style or the way that you, uh, a, a practice that you, you have yourself a regiment or something for yourself. However, that works for you. You know what I'm saying? I feel like every, every chapter of your life, it changes and it adapts and you will too, you know? Absolutely. So yeah, that's that's I guess that's my how I could describe my journey with In the music. music. And what do you think has been the greatest obstacle you've had to overcome when it comes to your music journey so far? And how do you overcome that obstacle? That's a good question, man. I think that uh, you know, I guess it it it, it goes kind of with my journey. It's the same part of my journey. It's like growth isn't always easy, and you know what you want to get to, and where the destination. You might not always know what that looks like in your mind. You know what I'm saying? Like, and it's uh, painful at times. Yeah. So it's like, you know, I don't always know the direction that I want to go. Like, you know, and sometimes I get lost in that. And, you know, you know, uh, that that's definitely that's definitely uh, a, a challenge for me is just like trying to have a cohesive body of work that all that 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 fits together. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like a lot of the things that I do is real scattered and real all over the place. I, I want to do everything. I love this type of music. I love that type of music. I love all these different genres. And I feel like sometimes it's hard to make that like a palatable thing for people. You know what I'm saying? Cause like, I want to be, I want to show you how versatile I am, but really, you know, people really just want something in a bite size little chunk that they could just you know what i'm saying so i've, I've I, and and when you're and when you're searching for your for your new sound or your new style or your new inspiration whatever that might be it's just really hard to hone in on one little thing instead of reaching so much i feel like i'm just all over the place with it sometimes you know what i'm saying and that's part how of how you usually overcome it uh just know that i gotta do one thing at a time you know what I mean? Just take take everything one step at a time. I ain't got to have the whole plan. You know what I'm saying? I could just go one step at a time and and just and just figure it out. And it usually works for me. You know what I'm saying? I I I I I I'll work it out. I'll work it out, you know? So you do a lot of self-talk basically that hey, one step at a time and we'll get through that. Well, yeah, like it, you know, if you just pay attention to how you're going to get to first down instead of just trying to shoot throw Hail Marys at the, at the, at the, at the, at the touchdown every time. You know what I mean? Like, let's just, let's just let's go getting on. the first down is a lot less intimidating. Let's focus let's on just, the let's just cross the yellow line. We don't got to cross the big lines over there. You know, cause if we, if we make, if we cross the yellow line enough times, eventually it'll turn into the touchdown. Right. 
Exactly. So sometimes I just gotta like just ah, uh, don't even focus. I'm always just how can I throw this hell? How can I? You know what I'm saying? As opposed to just 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 taking one step at a time. You know. I see. <clears throat> so you overcome your obstacle of being stuck and feeling stuck and feeling lost and not having inspiration and kind of being all over the place by really taking things one step at a time. Yeah, because all the big problems that you have are just little problems compiled on top of each other. You know what I'm saying? So That's like true. so like my all my obstacles with music, all my obstacles with my life are just a bunch of little tiny obstacles that have accumulated to these big little clumps. So like let me just let me just make this one song. And let me just be satisfied with this one song. It doesn't, you know, I feel like that hurts us as artists a lot when we're always thinking about our marketing, our image, all this stuff. Like, how does this, how can I sell this music? How is how is this, what's the audience or the demographic for this song? What's the blah, blah, blah? Like, all this bullshit. Like, do you know what I'm saying? As opposed to just like, let me just make a song I like. Yeah, you get lost I, in I, I, what's actually important, which is making right. the music. <laughs> Right. You know, we'll figure out all that other weird shit that we got to do to to like survive and shit later. You know what I'm saying? We'll get to that. But let me just try to make a song that I like. Not a song that I'm engineering to be marketable that have quotes that that have digestible parts that are every 15 seconds so that people could use it on a fucking story or let me just make the music. Do you see what I'm saying? Like I one do. step at a time. What do you think's next for you and your journey to music? Really, right now I have this uh, series that I started um, called the Bakery Sessions that I'm doing with Willie, and um, I basically wanted to take a pivot from doing like music video stuff to like real, real creative energy in the studio and showing people what it's really like to work in the studio and make like and make music from scratch. You know what I'm saying? The um, behind the scenes. Yeah, and and everything that we make during those videos are made right there. Like we it's not something that we've like rehearsed and we just make it right there. You know what I'm saying? And I, you know, a part of me is it's a challenge cuz I I'm somebody who likes to like vibe out with the music maybe for a whole week before I go and like lay some stuff down and stuff like that, you know what I mean? So it's more of a challenge to write on the fly, you know what I mean? And like, that's something that I feel like is real useful, you know what I'm saying, for artists. And I wanna get better at that, you know what I'm saying? Making songs from scratch and like, trying to work on the fly, try to get a song from beginning to end, create it in the whole process. It's, it's a really good skill to have because there's times where I've been with like really popular producers. <clears throat> they're like, yo, <clears throat> they're like, yo, let's let's make something right now. And you're running. And blank. like I was like, oh, like, how about you give me some beats that I could listen to for a while? He's like, ah oh, nah, dog, I don't got none of those. But we can make something tonight, because I'm leaving tomorrow. And like I was just kind of like shit. I kind of got like the deer and headlights thing, because that's just not how I created. You know? Yeah. And he was on one. He was ready. He was like, yo, like he was just in, he was so present. He was so in the moment. And I've never really been like that. I see. You know what I'm saying? I see. So and like now... this, this exercise is good to where it's like, I, now I, I'm trying to learn to get to a place where I could write anything whenever. Like I could just do it. Like, yeah, I could write it right now. You know what I'm saying? We could come up with the entire song. So the process is an interesting process. And I feel like it's really like interesting to watch. So I'm just trying to kind of create more like that because I just want to catch a vibe, man. It's, I, I want I want people to just kind of feel my energy. You know what I'm saying? I understand, of course. With that being said, where can people follow and support you at? Oh man, I'm I'm big on uh, on IG, man. So that's the only one. That's the only social network I really be on. So I'm I D E E six zero two. Um, so you could definitely follow me on Instagram. Uh. I and you're in Spotify too, links. YouTube and everything, right? Oh now? yeah, I'm on Spotify, I D Z, I dash D, double E Z Y. Uh, I got a couple projects on there as well. Um, yeah, anywhere, anywhere you stream music, you can find me under that name. And uh, yeah, man, I'm just gonna keep it rocking. 
Perfect. Well, thank you so much again, ID, for taking the time to speak with me and I'm Rudko here. Again, my name is John and everyone, thank you for tuning in. Again, please follow ID everywhere on Instagram, YouTube, Spotify. Follow us here too at I am Rudko. And again, my name is John. You can follow me everywhere at the John Cornelio. Um, until next time, thank you so much. Peace.